Here are five things to know on this Friday morning. A woman from Maine is in an Alabama hospital after allegedly being set on fire by her husband. Riley Willis is accused of using an accelerant to set his wife Anna on fire and also to burn down the apartment where they were. Our sister station in Alabama confirmed that Anna Willis is from Livermore. Police say she was severely burned earlier this week. Officials say Riley ran from the apartment and was later arrested. He faces several charges and is being held without bond. A former Franklin County assistant district attorney involved in an illegal drug operation in Maine can now practice law once again. A Maine Supreme Court justice made that decision saying Kayla Alves satisfied the criteria to have her law license reinstated. She pleaded guilty last year to tampering with documents in an investigation into a $13 million illegal cannabis ring. As a result, her law license was suspended and she was sentenced to two years of probation. The dispatch center in Knox County could close because of a lack of workers. That means when people call 911 in Knox County, they would go to dispatchers in Waldo County. The change was announced during a meeting for Knox County Budget Committee last night, but the commissioners didn't make it official. Instead, they said they would talk more about the issue between now and their meeting next month. There is more about the situation this morning in the Portland Press Herald. A team from Maine is headed to the Little League World Series for the first time in almost 20 years. The players from Gray New Gloucester and Raymond defeated Massachusetts 2 to 1 last night. It is just the fourth time a team from Maine is headed to the Little League World Series. The tournament starts Wednesday, but the team from Maine will be playing a team from Washington State on Thursday afternoon at 3. And this weekend, Slugger the Sea Dog officially takes his place in the Mascot Hall of Fame. Slugger is one of only two mascots in the country to be inducted this year. The other is Otto the Orange from Syracuse University. And Slugger is the first minor league sports mascot elected to the Mascot Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame induction ceremony is happening tomorrow at 10. Our Hannah Yeshivi is on her way there now. She texted me from the tarmac oh, at the nice. Portland Jetport. So she's en route to go cover Slugger getting inducted. It should be a lot of fun. Such that a fun awesome. assignment. Yeah. 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 That'll be a good time. Yeah, it's awesome.